First, you'll need to power up your 7850 instrument. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the signal input terminal on the rear panel. The instrument will not output voltage without this key. This allows the user to wire the instrument to the doors of the DUT enclosure. This is a safe workstation best practice. Press the power button on the front panel of the 7850 instrument. The instrument will automatically navigate to the main menu. The HiPot Ultra instruments have a versatile user interface that includes a touch screen and two push buttons. There are three main touch keys and two buttons on the HiPot Ultra interface. Use the Perform Test key to navigate to the Perform Test window. Use the Back key to return to a previous menu. Use the Home key to return to the main menu. The buttons are designed for operators that are wearing high voltage gloves. Use the toggle button to scroll through the menu parameters. Use the My Menu Select button to either make a menu selection or choose the My Menu option. My Menu allows you to configure your own custom menu. Once you have set up your own screen, you can access it at any time by hitting the My Menu button. To set up the new test sequence, navigate to the main menu by hitting the Home key. Touch the Setup Tests menu icon, then press Add File to create a new test file. Input the test file name and hit Enter. Press Add Step to create a new test. Press Test Type to change the test. Select DCW to change Step 1 to a DC high pot test. Press Enter to confirm. To change the test voltage, input the numeric value on the touchscreen and touch the Enter key to confirm. To navigate between test parameters, either input the value and press the Enter key, or swipe left and right to change parameters. Eventually, you will get to the internal scanner parameter. Note the internal scanner is optional hardware on the 7800 series. Select the internal scanner. Use the left and right arrows to change the scanner channel. For each channel, select either H, which sets a channel to high voltage, L, which sets a channel to return, or O, which sets a channel to open. For this demonstration, we will set the channel 1 high and channel 2 low. Once all parameters have been input, press the Perform Test icon. You will be prompted to save your test file changes. Press Enter to confirm. The Perform Test screen displays the following parameters. File name, file number, test type, status indicator, test time, test voltage, leakage limit or resistance limit indicators, scanner status if the scanner option is installed, load button for loading test files, results button for viewing test results. You can also press and hold a parameter to move it to a different portion of the screen. This allows you to customize the order of the displayed parameters on your performed test screen. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 7850 to a DUT and run the test sequence. You're going to need the following accessories. The red high voltage lead, two black clip leads. You can also use the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads. An instrument with scanner channels also comes with 100 feet of high voltage wire and high voltage terminal connectors. For this demonstration, we're going to show two separate test setups. The first setup will use the scanner channels to run our DC high pot test. The second will use a universal style adapter box on a three prong product. First, we'll connect the DUT to the rear port scanner terminals. We've made up two separate high voltage connectors from the supplied high voltage wire and high voltage connectors. Since we're testing two points, we're going to connect the channels one and two on the built-in scanner to pin one on the DUT and the DUT chassis respectively. If you're using the universal style adapter box instead of the scanner channels, connect the adapter box to the continuity check and the HV terminals. Then connect the black lead to the return terminal. Simply connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. Then plug the three-prong cord to the DUT into the adapter box. 
Then close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and push the test button to run your test sequence. For tests that use scanner channels, you'll notice scanner channel indicators on the screen of the instrument while the test is running. To view your test results, simply press the results button. Press the individual step to get result details. Swipe up and down to view the individual test results.